Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to rope. It's your girl Keonti, and I'm gonna head and bring us a re go ahead and bring us a reading today. Again, this is gonna be for the sign of Pisces, the baby shark, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the Pisces cross watcher. It could definitely resonate from your perspective if you're watching this video because you're having a relationship with the Pisces. Pisces, please keep in mind that this is a general read, meaning everything I say won't resonate for every last single one of you. Please keep what resonates for you and release what doesn't. If I get it right for you, Pisces, take care of your girl with a like, comment, subscribe, and a share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is provided in the description box below the video. All right, baby sharks, let's go ahead and talk about the energy of the who's coming towards you, what's this all about, why is this all happening, and how's it going down? All right, spirit, give me the energy of the... Uh-oh. That Well, those two came right out. So Pisces, the energy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I wish I had something better. Head in the clouds. Pisces, these cards are telling me that the energy is coming towards you is an energy that honestly, it feels like this person doesn't believe that you have too much faith or trust or belief in belief in them. Pisces, this energy that's headed towards you with bad reputation and cock blocking. This is this is an energy that you're very leery of. You don't trust or you don't believe, right? Bad reputation tells me that there's been some sort of repeat pattern of something that has gave you the conclusion, which has led you to the conclusion that you're dealing with a prickly person. Pisces, this could literally be someone that you blocked, okay? Pisces, this person's head's all in the clouds. They're thinking, right? For some, it was literally someone you blocked because you got tired, like you, you felt like they were prickly, or this is just someone you, you're not allowing in your space because you feel like they have a bad reputation, they're a prickly person, or you saw some sort of negative pattern, excuse me, negative patterns with this person. This person's head's all in the clouds. So let's see what this is about. Let's see if we can find out what this is all about, because I feel like you don't, you don't trust this person bankrupt see Pisces this is someone you've given some someone or a situation that you've given up on queen rising just I feel like this is you this is probably you deciding to step into your power praise coming up being in the spotlight Pisces I do feel like you've, de you've definitely decided to take this is probably a situation you've decided to take control over for sure for sure and I feel like if you a part of you taking control of it is what bankrupt you're deciding that you're not giving to it right you're not going to keep contributing to the delinquency of something here. Give me some more for what this is about for Pisces. What's this? Give me more on what's this about for the baby sharks. Chasing. Okay. So it's like, Pisces, now that you have stopped giving to something, and now that now that you kind of don't give a damn, you've given up, you turned your pockets inside out and said you had zero Fs to give, now there's an energy of something coming after you or someone always partying. Now, Pisces, this could definitely be a person that has a reputation of always partying. It could be someone who's, who drinks a lot. Pisces, there could also be someone who's coming after you now trying to have a good time with you. They want to take you out. It could be definitely someone coming to coming with drinks or something here. Or this is or Pisces. This is somebody who you stop giving to because you feel like they're always chasing a good time. They're they're chasing fun, right? But maybe with bankrupt, there's nothing solid, right? There's nothing that you can really build on with this energy, right? It could be one of all these things I'm saying. But let's see why this is happening for you, baby sharks. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Fake smiles. Okay, so Pisces, you feel like someone is wearing a false mask here. Queen rising, but you're in power and control here. Yes. So Pisces, why do I feel like you feel like someone is not probably not being their authentic self or they're being prickly? I feel like you've, you've completely denied access to this energy because of this. You feel like you can't give to it. There is someone wearing a false mask here about how they're really feeling about you now being in power and control of the situation. I feel that strongly. Give me another one for why this is happening. Head in the clouds. So this person is wearing a false mask about how they really feel about how you're treating them. Look, wants you back. I told you. So Pisces, it's like now that you've finally given up, right? Now that you finally decided to not give to something anymore, right? Because some of you, you've literally blocked somebody or you're literally blocking someone's cock because you feel like they have a bad reputation. Whatever's going on here, Pisces, I feel like you're deciding not to give to something and that's why something is changed. That's something or someone, but that's why that energy is coming after you. Pisces, I also feel like you're deciding, maybe we're bankrupt and chasing that you're deciding to go in a new direction. You're going to put your energy and effort into something different here. 
right? The things that you have power and control over, the things that you're praised over, the things that definitely put you in a spotlight and paint you in a negative light and make you feel like the queen rising. But Pisces, there's definitely someone here who's wearing a false mask about how they feel about this because they want you back. Pisces, simply for some of you, it's just as simply as someone wanting to be back in your good graces. Okay, so let's see. Give me, let me get something for how this is all going down. Give me something for how this is all going down. Looking you up. Pisces, there's definitely somebody that is... Listen, if they're not looking at your social media, they're looking you up. They're spying travel. They're looking to see how they can come towards you. You could be dealing with the Cancerian here. Give me another one for how this is going down. This is somebody trying to figure out how they can come to you. Drama starter. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Unfazed. Pisces, I do feel like the reason why this person is looking how they how they can come towards you. It could definitely be a fire sign or they're just really they're really driven to do it because it's like you're coming off like this, unfazed, because not because you don't care, right? It feels like now that you don't care, someone cares a lot. Okay. Give me one more for how this is going down. Hustling. So I have a Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles here, player. Pisces, I feel like this is how you're playing it now. I feel like you're playing a situation really cool, calm, and collected because to a certain extent you're focusing on finances, resources, things of that nature. Pisces, it definitely feels like now that you don't care, someone or something cares a lot. Let me just write that down because it definitely feels like that. I do feel like this energy is looking to come towards you. They may be looking to shake things up a little bit. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign. Pisces, someone could definitely be, look, be, be, looking, be, be looking into you to see what you're giving energy and effort to, what you're focused on. Like, what is it that you're really doing here? I feel like this drama starter is who's going to come after you and chase you. I feel like this is who's wearing a fake smile. I feel like this hustler here, this Queen of Pentacles energy is you. Making it rain, focused on money and getting it. For sure. And I do feel like to some sort of extent, someone is kind of keeping tabs and watching you do this. Their head's in the clouds. It has everything to do with you now being in the energy where like you feel like whatever... Again, because with bad reputation and cock blocking Pisces, this is like you feeling like I'm not falling for the banana in the tailpipe anymore, right? This is a prickly person. So let's get some for this. For the who? Insatiable. Unquenchable. Wanting more. See, Pisces, now this person can't get enough of you. If Pisces, it feels like now that you have completely blocked an energy, now this energy, look. It desires you. Look, love, sexual chemistry, insatiable. This is somebody who is strongly desiring you, Pisces, that cannot get enough of you. Could be a water or a fire sign here. But this energy, like, wants you badly. They can't get enough of you now that you're not giving to it, right? And you stopped giving to it because you felt like you were dealing with someone who had a bad reputation. You could have been dealing with somebody who, were act who was acting like they was a player, right? Knight of Wands, in and out, right? Reckless, impulsive, like, energy that you can't really depend on. It, it could be a... A person that has a bad reputation of letting you down, right? Some of you are dealing with someone who drinks too much or something, and that's why you're not dealing. That's why you're not going to deal with them. But that's not for everybody. Sorry, guys. So let's see why why the bankruptcy and chasing is here. I do feel like Pisces. What this is about is because now you're not giving. I feel like a lot of you are just not giving to certain energies, and you're deciding to put your energy and effort into other things and go after other things. But I feel like also that this is about now that you're not giving, right? Now that you have decided to stop investing, there's an energy that wants to come after you and offer you something here. Give me something. Give me something on this. Settlement. See, agreement, compromise. This is what this is. This is what this energy wants to do. Some of you are definitely like this is this could be a bankruptcy settlement, a legal settlement that you're having. Like let's say if you were done wrong by a company or, or a situation that with a bad reputation, some of you are definitely getting ready to get some sort of settlement. Look, there's that drama queen again. Pisces, I feel like this person is now thirsting. They're thirsting, right, to come in and offer you something. And I hate to say it, Pisces, this person might come in and start a little drama. I do. I feel like this person may come in and start a little drama. They may be thirsty to cause a little drama with you because you're not allowing, right? Pisces, for some of you, this person wants to start a little drama because they feel like that's the only way to get your attention. I'm going to be honest. Since you're not giving, they're going to come in and cause a little drama. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. This person could also be... 
kind of acting like you're being a drama queen, right? Oh, you're just being a drama queen because you're because you're pointing out this bad reputation and this cock block and like I'm not dealing with this. You're prickly. The same, like you know, someone could definitely be acting like, oh, you're just being a drama queen, Pisces, but you're not. You're not. So let's see. For let's see for the uh why this is all happening. There is someone who is wearing a false mask. They have their head all in the clouds. They're not they're the way however they're really feeling about the situation, Pisces, they're not showing you. But they're thinking of it, their heads in the clouds. So let's get some for this for Pisces. Let's see why this is here. Six of Cups, reminiscing, memories, recalling. So this person is definitely sitting back in their head. They're thinking about the good times you guys had. They are roller coaster. But this person had you on the emotional roller coaster. I feel that strongly. I feel like this is why you're doing it. Now this person is sitting back thinking, right? Because there was good times with you, Pisces. There was times when you guys had the highest highs. But I also feel like there was times when there was the lowest lows, right? This person is now sitting back recalling. They're reminiscing. They're having the memories of this for sure, right? For some of you, I just heard, I remember when Pisces couldn't get enough of me, right? It's almost like I remember when Pisces couldn't get enough of me. I remember the days you used to love me, right? <laughs> Let's see why looking you up is here for how this is going down. This person is definitely kind of spying. Page of swords are keeping an eye out. Look, projected future days, weeks, months. This person is looking into coming to you. For some of you, this is travel arrangements, but there's definitely someone looking into heading your way denial i do feel like pisces they're doing this in a way where they won't be denied so somebody could definitely be planning to come directly to you they're planning on hitting the road so they can't be denied here because i do feel like you are denying someone because you feel like they have a bad reputation the denial is just making someone want you even more pisces don't get upset with me i'm just telling you what the cards say give me one for the drama starter here because i do feel like this person may be coming in and start a little drama with you this is the high priestess telepathic dream songs the alien card some of you are definitely dealing with the fire side, ascension, spiritual path, awakening. Pisces, for some of you, you could definitely have somebody coming in like you're just being a drama starter because you're listening to your intuition, right? And your intuition is telling you to ascend. Get on your spiritual path. You have this awakening. Some of you are definitely listening to your intuition about someone who you may feel like is a drama, a drama starter. And your intuition may be even telling you that the drama starter is... It's headed your way, right? This could literally be like, here comes trouble. But Pisces, your intuition knows this. Now, some of you, there could be someone that is pretending like you're being the drama queen, right? That you're starting drama simply because you are ascending, right? Because you are listening to your intuition, right? For sure. Let's see what the hustling is about here. Let's see what this hustler is about, how this is going down. The Verge, about to reveal, confess. So somebody has something to say here. And legal. Here we go with the, with the uh, Libra energy. Pisces, I do feel like someone is getting ready to uh, reveal and speak the truth. The legal is court, paper, per, court or paperwork filed. Pisces, some of you are definitely getting ready to get some sort of settlement. I don't know what it's about, but there's a settlement that's going to come. There's there's an energy coming in to try to make some sort of legal settlement with you. Some of you have an earth sign about to reveal or confess. It could be a fire sign. It could be a Libra getting ready to do this. It doesn't have to be any of those signs, okay? I'm going to get a few more oracle messages on this, and then we're going to clarify with tarot. Pisces, please take care of your girl with a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're interested in booking me, please email me at fortheloveofwatertarot at gmail.com. You guys, I've been a little tired and a little sluggish for the last three or four days. So if I owe you a read, please bear with me. I'm trying to get myself back up now. I, I don't know. I think it may have been because of whatever that last moon we had. But, like, your girl has been, like, beat, beat, beat since then. So just bear with me, okay? All right. All right. Let's get one on this cock blocking. Pisces, it's almost like because you've come to the realization that you're dealing with something or someone with a bad reputation, a prickly reputation, some, something or someone that's hard to pin down. It's kind of like jello. You decided to block the cock of that energy. This energy is un this this energy just is insatiable about you. It wants it can't get enough. Look. Second chance, making amends, opportunities, plans. I told you this energy is definitely making a comeback. They're going to make a comeback. Yep, let me write that down. Just put it where it goes, Pisces, because I feel it. This energy is getting ready to make a comeback. It wants a second chance. Look, letting go, releasing, walking away, moving on. Yes, Pisces, this energy wants to try to make something right because I feel like this energy feels like this is what you're doing. You're releasing, walking away, and moving on. 
And now Pisces, again, what's this all about is some of you have definitely decided to stop giving to a situation and put energy and effort into endeavors where putting energy and effort into uh, in energies where that there could be agreements and compromises, right? In order to move forward and have success. But I also feel like this is you simply saying that you're not giving to an energy and this could definitely be a person like the more you're not giving to an energy, the more they want to come chase you and, and have some sort of agreement and compromise and settle. I even, I'm even hearing, can we agree to disagree? This is even somebody could be coming at you like, can we agree to disagree? But they still want to agree, right? <laughs> Give me some for the bankrupt and the chasing and the settlement for Pisces. Clarify this energy for me, spirit, please. For what's this about? Consequences, karma, destiny, cause and effect. Yep. So Pisces, you're do this is a cause and effect. Because you feel like there's something prickly about something or someone and you decided to completely block out that energy that energy now wants you that's the cause and effect this energy wants to come back and try to make amends they want a new opportunity they want to make some plans it's some plans someone could definitely have had some sort of karma right this is a, a sagittarius energy again with destiny and ca ca uh, cause and effect look room and wow running free risk possibility so someone wanted to act free they wanted to run wild pisces i feel like you may have set set this energy free sent it back to the streets right as a cause and effect but now this energy definitely wants to come back and i gotta tell you something pisces this energy could be dealing with something that is completely effing bankrupt right some karmic ish right and this is why they want to come back and agree and settle something with you it's definitely an energy that wants to make a comeback period put it where it goes don't kill the messenger so let's see because Pisces, why all this is happening is because there's an energy of someone sitting back with their head in the clouds wearing a false mask, a fake smile about something that, that they're feeling and they're sitting up reminiscing on you. They're sitting up thinking about the memories. They're recalling the, and reminiscing on the memories that you two shared together. Frozen, still, and silence, no words. Because Pisces, I feel like this is the energy that you're giving this. I feel like someone is wearing a false mask with their head in the clouds reminiscing about you because there's silence because you're being silent you're being still you're not really giving any words they, 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 they said you're being the ice queen illusions clouded judgment unbalanced askew they're trying to figure out how they, they're trying to see something correctly now i feel like you're treating them treating treating this energy this way is definitely helping someone get their head out of their asses let me just say that pisces so let's see let's see Ooh, let me see because i do have uh Pisces, there's definitely an energy that is researching you, looking you up, studying you, and getting info because there's a projected, there's definitely something headed your way. And I do feel like it's going to come directly to you with this road here. Give me some for this energy for Pisces. Look, infatuation, adoration, addiction, compulsive. I told you, Pisces, this energy is, 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 is like has an insatiable energy towards you now. Deja vu, past life, karmic lessons, repeat patterns. This is definitely an energy you're familiar with, Pisces. You are familiar with this energy. This could be someone that you know in a past life. Or this is, I've been here before, right? So let's see why the drama starter and the alien is here. For how this is going down. Pisces, you may know that somebody said it's your way to kick off some drama. This is either a fire sign or a Pisces. Unconditional innocence, support, whole heart. Pisces, this is someone who knows that you gave them unconditional love. I feel like the love you gave somebody, Pisces, was like an alien love to them, right? It was next, it was out of this world, right? Maybe someone wasn't used to, well, maybe someone did not know how to process unconditional love. Maybe that was completely alien to someone because I feel like you did support someone in a very innocent way, right? Unconditionally with your whole heart. Look, longing, aching, pining past love now this person is aching and pining for that pisces now she's back with her mother now I'm realizing that her lover right mm -hmm. this energy definitely is aching and pining and longing for you now so let's see what the hustling and the verge is pisces somebody may definitely be coming to you with something of substance right maybe someone wants to come to you but they want to come to you with something of substance i do got the verge here about to reveal and confess pisces i do feel like there's somebody here has something to say let's see what this is about for you Somebody could definitely be telling you they see they see how you work and they see what you've been doing. It's, it could almost be like somebody could be saying that they admire something about what you're doing. Limit, final straw, overload, low, breaking point. And what's under here? Secret admire, suppression, resistance, shyness. Pisces, this is because you put up some sort of resistance. I'm going to tell you right now. I feel like if you were dealing with someone who played games, whatever the bad reputation is about. And Pisces, if it resonates, you know what the bad reputation is about. You blocked it. You said no more. You said no more. And now this is somebody who was definitely um, 
because you've reached your limit. This person got something to say. This person definitely got something to say. They on the verge to reveal and confess something because they feel like that you, you hit the final straw, that this is the breaking point. For sure. All right, baby sharks. Let me go ahead and clarify with some tarot for y'all. Make sure y'all take care. Take care of y'all girl with the like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, if I owe y'all private readings, I'm trying to get up and get back on the horse today. I've just been extremely exhausted since the weekend. So just bear with me a little bit, okay? I truly, truly, truly appreciate every last single one of y'all. All right, spirit. I'm, work, I'm doing a, a collective because it's less, less taxing and I'm trying to get myself back into my grooves. It's easier to do a collective than a private, but I'll definitely be doing privates uh, this evening. Give me some for the bad reputation, insatiable, and second chance. Pisces, this energy here knows what you, they know what you think of them. They know that you don't think very much of them because of their, some repeat histories or bad patterns. But it's like now they cannot get enough of you. They, they have to have this second chance. Got to make amends. Got to try to make something right here. Give me one for this, for Pisces. For this, who, who is this? Who is this feeling this way? Look, the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Five of Swords. See, that's what the bad reputation about this person. This King of Cups here. Now look at all this water. Insatiable. Yes. But the Five of Swords tell me that there was some sort of game plan, some sort of manipulation, some sort of tit for tat, right? Somebody wanted to win at all costs. Somebody may have had to have the last word, right? Mm-mm. And the page of swords is under here. So I told you this person is kind of keeping an eye out. Look, it's, it could be, listen, it could be a Aries, Taurus, air sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is watching and waiting. I see pages. There could be children involved, possibly too. But this person does want to reach back out to you, Pisces. Up the two of cups. They want to reach back out. This person is definitely concerned that with the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, you are now only focused on your, your stability, your money, your business, Two of Swords. Some of you definitely got this person blocked. It could be a Leo. Give me one more on this, per, on this person. This person is drowning in a sea, some sort of sea of emotions for you, but it's because you, because you decided that you weren't going to deal anymore. Six of Wands. Definitely checking someone's ego here. Queen of Cups. Pisces, you checking somebody's ego. And I also feel like somebody is having no choice but to acknowledge how they feel about you because I have a couple. I have a couple. They can't deny how they feel about you, Pisces. They can't. Look, look, in the Three of Cups, they definitely want to reconcile with you, Pisces. Some of you, this person is coming directly to your home or your domicile because you walked away, Right? So let's see, let's get some of this bankruptcy energy because Pisces, what this all about is Pisces, you decide that you're no longer giving to something. You're no longer settling. I did, all Pisces, is that what it is? It's just because you decide that you're no longer settling, right? And this is like, this is the cause and effect of what this person did. Could be. But Pisces, I also feel like now that you're not giving to this anymore, this person is coming in with chasing. They want to try to come to some sort of agreement and, com uh, and compromise. They feel like what you're doing is cause and effect to what they did. It's karma. Give me some for that, for this, for Pisces. Look, the devil, Capricorn energy, the Hierophant. This could be dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn. This could definitely be something dealing with the toxic business, a toxic marriage, right? For sure. Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone that you work with it where there's a toxic relationship with. Pisces, it could also be someone now obsessed Right, and they're coming in. They want to. This could be the agreement. This could be the settlement, the compromise that they want to come in and work on. Now, Ace of Pentacles. Hell yeah, Pisces. If some of you have decided to stop giving your energy to some toxic ish here, realize that you can't agree to disagree, that you won't be able to agree, settle, or compromise. It's karma and destiny, and the cause and effect is is that you got some new ish coming in, some new solid, stable, abundant ish. Some of you getting ready to sign new contracts. Period with work and things like that. But I also feel like Pisces, this could definitely be somebody coming in now trying to offer you some sort of commitment here. For sure. Give me one more on this. Somebody could definitely be in a bankrupt situation with a marriage or a partnership. Just put it where it goes. Give me some, give me one more on this bankrupt energy. Eight of Swords. I told you someone is all in their head now. They're all in their head. And I don't feel like it's you, the wheel of fortune. This is changes. Pisces, there could definitely be an energy where the wheel of fortune, like there's something changing for you. I don't feel like you're stuck in your head about something anymore. 
I feel like this is like the karma, the destiny, the fate, like the cause and effect of what someone did. This is the reason why you're feeling like you're not giving it to giving to it anymore. But it does feel like with this devil and this eight of swords, someone is kind of obsessed and they're in their head. They want to change something with you. They do. So let's see why this person is wearing a fake, a fake smile. Or they're wearing a false mask and their head's all in the clouds. And what their head's all in the cloud is about is about reminiscing on memories of you. Their, their head's in the cloud about returning to you. Now, Pisces, for many of you, this person hasn't said anything yet, but I feel like the silence, the stillness, no words, I feel like it's you. You're frozen. They're telling me you're like an ice queen, Pisces. Or king, put it where it goes. Give me some for the fake smile here for Pisces. The magician could be dealing with the Virgo or Gemini, Scorpio. This is somebody who wants to manifest. Yep, look, yes. The card is saying yes. They do want to manifest something new with you. I do feel like this person wants to try to melt your heart because look, it's frozen and insatiable. I feel like right now you're frozen, right? And they want to crack the ice. They do. I also feel like this person could be de definitely with the magician here and a bad reputation. This could be someone who is very slick, someone who is very gifted, someone who is very skilled, right? This could be someone who's a master illusionist and you see through it now, right? For sure. But I do feel like for definitely this person is sitting up thinking how they can manifest something here. Yep, Knight of Pentacles and offer you some sort of loyalty and long-term stability here. Give me one more for this fake smile here. Head in the clouds here. This person reminiscing on you. Let me solve for this for Pisces. <clears throat> Four of Cups. I'm telling you, this per I do feel like you're not. You're, 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 they, this person can definitely see you as a missed opportunity, but I feel like this person is not happy. They're bored and discontent. There they go. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could be someone who has money, right? This could be someone who's having money issues or someone who has money or someone who's all about money, right? Obsessed with money. Nine of Swords. But listen, I told you this is their stress, their worries, their sleepless nights. And the cherry and the seven of cups. And they're trying to figure out how they could come to you. How they could get you to uncross your arm and accept the cup from them, right? Because you're coming up off as the ice queen. So let's get some for this housing going down. We're looking you up infatuated and, pro and projection. Because Pisces, this person is definitely infatuated. There, there's some adoration. There's some addiction and, and some compuls compulsion. It's an insatiable feeling of wanting to come towards you and i do feel like they're hitting that road this could be this is future days weeks months but they're looking on how they could come towards you they got to satisfy that infatuation that they have here ten of swords wanted to flip in my hand let's get it clean anyone for looking you up for how this is going down for pisces eight of pentacles this person is definitely working on some sort of plan to come towards you eight of wands and there's the communication you may be getting communication someone could literally be telling you i'm on there i'm on my way Someone you, someone is waiting to see when you get home to come towards you. They're going to come. But I see this communication headed your way. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're definitely coming to you, Pisces. But I do feel like there's some sort of energy and effort in trying to work on building something with you with the Ten of Pentacles. Some solidifying house, home, legacy, something here with you. Pisces, I also feel like someone is definitely kind of watching you and they could be obsessing with you because they see you headed towards this Ten of Pentacles. They see you focusing on your home, your stability right because i do feel like there's an energy that you're not giving to but you are giving energy to something here you are focused on something and i feel it okay what's under this ten of, ten of swords three of swords mm -hmm. give me one more for this energy that's infatuated we're coming towards pisces here they're coming i feel it strongly seven of wands pisces that's you having up that that barrier Eight of Cups. Yes, Pisces, this person feels like they better get busy and do something because with the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups, you got up the barrier and you're turning your back. Pisces, you may have done this because of a third-party situation for sure. Or you just got tired of dealing with somebody who like wasn't wasn't taking some shit seriously. Pisces, the Queen of Cups, the Empress, all this is all uh, emotionally, whatever you're doing here, this is taking you into your Empress energy. It is. You're following your heart space. You're listening to your intuition. You definitely got someone who is doing some soul searching about this shit. So let's get one for the drama queen, the alien, and the unconditional love here. Some of you are definitely dealing with the fire sign here. There's definitely somebody who's going to act like, oh, you're starting so much drama because you're being quiet and you're not giving them unconditional love. But they know why you're doing it. They know why. There could also be somebody who is coming with a little bit of drama here because you're not giving them what they want. Queen of Swords. There's another queen. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy strength. Pisces, I do feel like you are in this Queen of Swords energy. You're using your intuition. You're definitely listening to... You're definitely 
<clears throat> listening to your intuition, you're making head over heart decisions this time around with this person because I feel like in the past you gave them unconditional love. Now you're giving them Queen of Swords energy, head over heart, strength, and this puts you in a position of control, right? This is I feel like you're definitely teaming someone's beast. You're teaming someone's lust here because you you're you're wanting the you're wanting the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Some of you're definitely dealing with the fire sign, strength and hangman. Yes, Pisces, this is what's giving you your control, and you're chilling. The lovers, you could be dealing with the Gemini or Leo, but this is definitely somebody who wants to make a choice to come towards you. Nine of Cups, this is what they wish for. They wish for you. Give me one more for this, for Pisces. Again, Pisces, this person may definitely be coming towards you to cause a little drama. Just put it where it goes. The world, a cycle closing out, lessons being learned. It could even be messages coming in. Seven of Pentacles. This person, I feel like this person is waiting to come towards you. They are. Yep, there's the communication page of wands, two of cups, the emperor. Are we still soulmates? I still love you. I see you. <laughs> and Pisces, if you don't get them the reaction that they want, I see a little tit for tat too. So let's see. Pisces, I feel like there's somebody that's on a verge about to reveal and confess, Pisces, because they feel like you've reached your limit. They feel like this is the final straw, that it's overload, and this is your breaking point. I do feel like they want to try to get busy and get active to come towards you and offer you something. I also feel like this person knows that you're now in this hustling energy, like you're putting energy and effort and passion into something that is making you, um, that's bringing in abundance, for sure. They may be on the verge of telling you that they see it, too. Give me some for this. You're, some of you are dealing with an earth sign. Two of Pentacles. Back and forth, back and forth. The Empress. The Hermit. The Two of Wands. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus or Libra. A, Lib a Taurus or Libra. Virgo or a Sag. This person is sitting back now. Thinking about how they had all that unconditional love, all that beauty, all that abundance. They had all the opportunity in the world with you, Pisces. And here they go, two of wands, temperance. They're coming back in wanting to try to uh, heal this, reconnect, reconcile, balance this out. The Hierophant and Nine of Swords tells me that they're stressed out about what type of commitment they can offer you. Now, this person could be stressed out dealing with a job, a contract, school. This person could be stressed out dealing with another uh, commitment somewhere else. But here they go, the chariot. I'm telling you, this person is stressed out thinking of how they can come to you and offer you something. And I feel like it's because they know that you've reached your limit. You've, you've reached the final straw with them. Give me one for hustling. Give me another one for how this is going down. The hangman, there it go. The ten of swords, yep. Pisces, this person got something to say. They're about to reveal and confess something to you. They may even be coming in to offer you something, trying to make it rain on you. Because I feel like you've reached the final straw. This is it, the ten of swords. The two of swords, yep. Pisces, they know. They know. It's very clear to someone that you're not playing with them anymore. They know. Two of swords and ten of swords is like, I don't even want to see the ish no more. And then here go the sun. Leo energy. I feel like it's becoming clear to this person with the with the four of pentacles and the page of cups that they still have emotions for you. It's becoming clear to you that this is something that they don't want to, to them, that this is something that they don't want to let go of. Give me one more for hustling and final straw here for Pisces. The knight of swords about to reveal and confess. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, Pisces, this person definitely got something to say. And they're going to come through and say something quickly and directly. I feel like it's because they know that you've reached the final straw with them. Now they're going to come in with the Knight of Pentacles and try to offer you something along the lines of long-term stability, support, trustworthiness, reliability, and dependability. Nine of Cups. Now they want to give you what you've been wishing for. The, the lovers, yep. Now they want to give you what you've been wishing for. They want to choose you. The Empress, yep. They've been sitting back thinking about it. Here they come to try to heal something from you. They're for, with you. They're definitely stressed out about offering it. But the chariot tells me they're coming. There's a king of pentacles here that, that's definitely fantasizing. Somebody could be figuring out something about money or they're simply fantasizing about you. The king of wands in the tower tells me that here comes this drama. This person is definitely coming to you. They got something to say. And it's because you've reached your final straw with them. The ace of swords is telling me that they absolutely do got something to say. And you're going to hear from them. All right, baby sharks. I love you guys. If I got it right for you, take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in uh, booking me, please email me. Guys, if I owe you a private read, just bear with me today. I've been really... Really, really tired these last four or five days I'll, i'm getting back on the uh, bike today so just give me a little a little bit of patience i love you guys stay beautiful stay blessed stay high vibing and i'll bring you messages very soon bye pisces